All right, everyone. This is Servitoria, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Now, uh, when left we left. Wow, I got really tough right there. When we last left off, oh, now they're gonna fight over a toy. Dogs, we're gonna play with the toy. You need to get out. Get on the other side of the room, okay? That thing squeaks really loud. Uh, we were talking to Patches, and I displayed some of his shop a bit. Now we're heading further north along the river here. Uh, we should actually meet. Yeah, there's the guy that. Uh, helped us with that invader. Just joining the fray, tarnished. Wow. You fought Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I'm tarnished, held in thrall by Sassu. You stay the path. Just remember. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. One last word of warning. Stay clear of Agil Lake. A great dragon, and it's as fearsome. So, stay clear of the. Yeah, and he'll also warn you about flying dragon Agil. Though his message is slightly cryptic. Also, after reviewing the uh, previous three episodes, I realized that uh, my music was drowning me out a little bit too much in the game. I may have lowered it a little too much, actually. We'll go with 8 and see how that works. Yeah, I realized that the music was greatly drowning me out when I was trying to talk. Okay. You'll notice that these skeletons after the fall will have that blue light coming off them. That means they are simply going to die. However, if you smack them while they have the blue light on, Locking on, please. They will not. Very simple. These slimes, as with all slimes in Souls games, are rather tough to take down, but as you saw with the one a minute ago, the bleed works fantastically. I don't really need to use these guys, but the extra room is always nice. That many? Okay, you may be wondering about this if you haven't played before. This is a spirit spring. And what this is, is while you're on torrent, you can jump, you cover quite a bit more height than normal. Uh, you'll also not take fall damage no matter where you land, unless it's somewhere that just isn't a uh, piece of terrain. Additionally, if, if you land in a spirit spring, you'll take no damage. Uh, while on torrent, at least. I don't know about landing in one on there. I'm gonna ignore the slimes over here for now. And into this cave. Is everyone enjoying the game so far? I know I am. I had an absolute blast on my first playthrough, and I can't wait to go through it again, albeit with a different playstyle. So, this may very well be much more difficult than it was before. Let's see, don't need to level or mess with flasks. Let's just check Ashes more. What? Oh, we can put repeating thrust on here. Well, then I think I want to do that, because that should repeatedly proc bleed buildup. Uh, we want it to be keen, so it has better scaling with dex, I think. Yeah, B scaling with dex. I know that at the moment, that's going to lower our damage a bit. But as my dex keeps going up, that'll just make it better. So let's see how well does that work. Four quick stabs, huh? And it doesn't cost very much either. We'll just have to see how well it works. Let's go in. It's another catacomb, so there should be imps in here. Yep. There's one there. Yeah, I timed that wrong. Luckily, we've got more health than the first time we encountered them. I forgot he was swinging when he's coming down. That's completely my fault. Now he 
may be wondering about the uh, glove warts and grave warts that we're picking up here. These flowers are eventually going to be used to upgrade spirit summons. There you are. Don't you just hate when you go to dodge around something and the swing still hits you around the side? Alright, we're gonna sneak through here. Oh shit, I just hit trap. I'm not doing a good show today, am I? of course if you're smart about your uh, souls playing you can trip their own traps on There's a little more to explore, though. Plus, uh, let's go ahead and get some more flasks back since I'm playing so bad. Side on. Leave my work beanie alone. I don't care if you like the way the trash smells on it. It's weird, dude. Don't eat the trash. Okay. stuff off the wall? I didn't know that. came at us from behind. There you are. Alright. That'll happen a lot too. You'll pass them and they're just holding still like statues. Okay, two more. right after. <laughs> I heard you. Oh my god. My katana has like just too little reach for the range I'm trying to use it at. And that is something I'm having so much trouble with. Alright. Oh, uh, we don't have enough to summon. Unless I change the summon. That one costs 55. We have 29 at the moment, so yeah. Oh, we can summon the Wandering Nobles. So this is going to summon five Wandering Nobles. They're not really going to be able to do a whole lot for me, but they're going to be a really good distraction for the boss. A great board duelist? I didn't know there was one of those this early. Oh, you're a lot weaker than the ones I'm used to fighting. Hey bud, I know I'm the threat, but come on. There's six targets in there.
Oh well. We can give that another go. I completely forgot there was a Grave Warden do list up or down here. I'm so used to it in the higher level areas. Because, as I said, or did I say? I don't remember. But there's a lot of bosses that are repeated. Just, you know, they're powered up, etc., etc. Alright. Just run past all these assholes. I'm sure that if we have one more heal, that was unfortunate. I completely forgot about the trap. Come on! Damn stamina. We'll get our wounds back. You really don't care about my other guys, do you? There. They have to hit him for him to care. I'm not aggressive enough. That's the issue. And when I'm more aggressive, I get grabbed. That's how I got the battle hammer. That makes sense now. That's a weapon I'm not going to be using. Yeah, it's much more of a strength weapon. 26 strength to use. Alright. Um, gonna go to... Yeah, we'll go to here. Or do we want to go somewhere? Yeah, we'll go to the first step, and then we're going to travel to another one of the little dungeons. Dude, check all my messages here. Ah, my nose. Okay. So, alright. Do, 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 do. Gonna head this way. We're gonna go right past these guys. We have to be just a little bit careful. Uh, if anyone's played Dark Souls 3, the giant crabs are back. There's one right in it. That little slope, sloped area. Cool, he didn't come in yet. I didn't get close enough to trigger a deal coming in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap back to the wolves. I think they're gonna perform a lot better for us as distractions. Because the wolves, of course, uh, are super aggressive. We're actually going to go ahead and equip the flail as well. And the main reason for that being that the enemies in this place, mistake, of course, are going to be a lot more uh, weaker to strike than they are to slashing. Do I have any wounds? I do not. Okay. I should have enough to level once. Yes. Just barely, but I do. Uh, we'll put that into endurance, even those two out. Of course, with raising endurance, we'll also be able to wear heavier armor eventually. Which, you know, that's going to come to me. Yeah. These 
guys are a lot weaker to strike than they are to slashing. Additionally, this place is also going to be good for you to get a... Uh, not a massive supply, but you'll be able to get an amount of smithing stone. I... Okay, apparently he was able to damage me as I went into that. Stop! Fucker! <laughs> It's just gonna keep going? I don't remember them doing that. Dogs. Settle. You guys always wanna wrestle and get loud whenever I start recording. <sighs> I'm glad they're little dogs doing that though. I mean, the big dogs. If I had big dogs, they'd be all over the damn house doing that and it'd be loud as hell I just wouldn't be able to record let's try that again shall we we're gonna deal with you before that guy oh that's right other enemies are in here because they're usually not in here alone. about these guys is they are very difficult to stagger. Keep up with the smithing stones and we'll be able to upgrade our Uchikatana again. I'll probably end up upgrading this flail as well, unless I find another good dex strike weapon, but I don't think there's a whole lot of strike weapons that go off dex. Okay. A lot of these mines are also going to have uh, lifts like these all over the place, and uh, places like that where you can roll off and get more loot. So this is the path forward, but the one back there probably get some extra stuff at. selling that. There's a lot of materials and consumables you can use that are like, consume some FP to do this, and I'm like, I want to do that. Luckily we're doing decent damage against these guys. Well, more than decent, honestly. Another one, I think. 
Oh, there's the boss room. Excuse me. It's usually a good idea to explore everywhere you can in mines. Um, I see the error I have made. I'm gonna put the path down. Uh, gold rune one. Not the greatest, but hey, all runes are useful. Good, and we only ended up using one flask. Grab this over here. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. Rockbreaker Troll. Okay, we're gonna summon our little wolves. Hopefully they don't die too fast. Or stone digger, not rockbreaker. Go get him, buds. But you know, more loot. All right. Uh, what should we do next? Let's see. There's some ruins right here. <sighs> Excuse me. But I really don't want to do those yet. Uh, technically, we're on high enough level. You know what? I'm feeling ballsy. Let's take on Flying Dragon Agil. <laughs> uh, we're probably gonna die. But luckily, I've got four bottles of Beepus here. So, let's go. Oh yeah, that tastes good. I think I have just enough to level, if not, I do have that rune that'll give me like a hundred. You're a good boy, Cypher. I just need to settle down. Yeah, just enough. Um... I don't really want to buff my health more at the moment until I can, uh, decks. Until I can get something that gives me better, uh, uh, so tongue-tied. I want a sacred tear. Sacred tears, and you more often than not, oh, that's for grin. You more often than not find them in churches. Sacred Tears can be used to upgrade the flask to plus one, plus two, and such, and make it restore more. While Golden Seeds, like the one I start with, allow me to have more uses of my flask. And the higher that goes, the more Golden Seeds it will take to upgrade. Uh, I realized that I didn't explain that when I picked the Golden Seeds to start and ended up using it at the beginning. And that is my bad, of course. Alright, a heal.
try that again. I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Ugh. Come on, reload. Yeah, my wolves really didn't last long, but it's not like I'm going to use the repeating thrust on it. just outrun the charge don't uh, try to jump it good info to have <laughs> fly out of that message all right let's give it another go the wolves really aren't doing much, but they're providing emotional support. Since I can drop lead on it, I don't need to worry about big damage. Heavy attacks are out. I want numerous attacks, therefore. Better not be fire. Yeah, he's doing it. Get down here before you breathe. Look, the bleed wears off. This way.
tail that time. Well, perhaps same one. Heart and five pieces. Awesome. All right. I think that'll be enough for this episode. Let's take a look. Uh, next time, I'm not going to go to these ruins yet just because I really don't want to go there yet. I'll let you guys know there is a teleporting chest in there, which is basically what the mimics are supposed to be in this game. You open a chest, fog envelops you, you get teleported somewhere you really don't want to be yet. In this case, it takes me to like a level 60 plus area. So, we got waypoint ruins here, so I think we're going to continue down the road here, hit these little ruins. Um, we're not going to do this yet, this is an ever jail, and basically it's a boss you have to fight alone, no summons, no friends, anything like that. It's not going to be too difficult, I don't think, but we'll find out. There's another one here I haven't been to yet. Uh, we haven't been north, or well, west, I guess, of Gatefront Ruins yet. But that's okay. Uh, this whole area in here is Stormvale. Then we got Eastern Limgrave, which we haven't even touched yet. But, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it all in due time. But, uh, for now... As I've been saying, any questions and such, go ahead and just leave them in the comments. I will happily get to them and, uh, to the best of my ability, answer, you know, anything you have, give advice, all that stuff. Maybe even do some requests. Who knows? But until next time, as always, I hope everyone really enjoyed the show and that you all have a great day.